Oh, this is so much fun for, to perform. Eddie, the master of madness. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Eddie offers to, for Harry to sit right next to him with dinner, and promptly Harry announces to the hippies awaiting their evening meal. Oh, see, I am the new leader here. Uh-huh. You will do as I order. Danish stuff shouts out, Eat shit, Harry. Another uh, unimpressed resident fires back, uh, Shut up, Harry. We don't need any kind of leader here. Uh, after dinner, somebody puts on the Beatles' new release, White Album, and Eddie <laughs> invites Harry to dance with him. When the dance is finished, Harry sighs, Okay, you win, Eddie. And that's when a young German girl leads Harry away. Harry, stay with me for tonight. Yeah. Oh. Well, while Harry flips out and in, a uh, bizarre phenomenon comes down on a frequent basis. Uh, Indian tourists uh, descend from buses and enter Eddie's crash pad as though his home were a miniature replica of the hippie scene. Uh, yeah, uh, Eddie's house becomes an authentic freak show mm -hmm. for common Indians who arrive after arduous journeys from far-flung regions of the subcontinent. Eddie's like baffled by the attention. Uh, one Indian woman squeals, look at the heavies trying to make chapatis. <laughs> What's the significance of that colorful mandala painted on the wall in chalk on the bedroom wall? Another uninvited visitor wants to know. It is dumbfounded um, when the tour leader says, We have traveled more than 1,000 miles by train to see the house. Well... Eddie, Eddie becomes a natural troubleshooter between the police and the flipped-out hippies, yeah. Police the chief, uh, 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 chief of police summons Eddie uh, to his headquarters in Margot, the closest town to Culver Beach. And what now? <laughs> the Sikh uh, chief smiles as he unfolds a newspaper before Eddie. What? Uh, the news article uh, was splashed across the Indian Express, a national newspaper, hence the busload of Indian voyeurs descending on his crash pad. Uh, yeah. And this explains how the postcard arrived, addressed simply, uh, Happy Hippie Home Goa. Yeah, Eddie got it, huh? Uh, well, Eddie... You know, you ask the Sikh police chief, like, is this a good thing? A bad thing? Uh, and the police chief, like, very positive, Eddie. You have put my town on the national map, you yeah. Well, back at the uh, house of the master of madness, Harry finally follows... Uh, Another hippie, whoosh, beyond go, into the wild blue yonder. Later, Eddie gets a postcard from Dutch Harry from a hospital in Benares. Oops. Uh, he's under observation, not well. He thanks the house for what they have done for him. There's peaceful interviews between flip-outs. Briefly. Yeah. Uh, well, picture this dinner show. An agitated Jean-Luc marches back and forth like a stormtrooper before the hippies calm, calmly eating their rice and veggies on the reed mats on the floor. Uh, he leans toward Eddie to glare and spews, Tick-tock, Swiss clock. Yeah, Swiss bank with all that money you have in your tick-tock bank. Uh, you miser, Eddie. What are you feeding us? Rice, doll, vegetables? You should serve us lobster, chicken, 
and champagne with every meal, yeah. Then comes a death threat. Next full moon, Eddie, I'm putting you under the ground where you belong. Jean-Luc warns him. Well, not to be fooled, also, uh, Jean-Luc, he, 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 he exposes mastermind Eddie for murdering Dutch Harry. Yeah, and faking that postcard from Benares. Yeah, just to cover it up, huh? Jean-Luc can't take it anymore. He violently charges Eddie. But stop centimeters before his face and gazes into Eddie's eyes, putting his hands reverently on Eddie's shoulders and kisses him on the mouth. Jean-Luc is passionately in love with Eddie. Ah. All night long, John Luke, uh, he curls up on the bare floor next to uh, Opium Felicity. What a babe. To guard against Felicity trying to make love with Eddie. His adored one in the next room. John Luke wants Eddie. All to himself. Yeah, okay. Woo! Jam, dreamscape of madness. <laughs> well, Eddie remains strictly platonic with everybody in the pad. He's not attached, unimpressed with these psychotic episodes. Uh, Opium Felicity warns the maestro of madness that John Luke may drop down into the neighborhood going well. To shit in it. Well, it, Eddie Savers, uh, uh, when the police finally show up for comic relief, you know, uh, here comes the police chief of Margot, influential fan, and he arrives at the large, but empty, you know, house uh, with his wife and other police officers and their wives. And <laughs> what? They're dressed. Uh, they're dressed up in expensive saris. For a wild night out. 